Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be building this dashboard here completely from scratch using code only to monitor a server's authentication activity. Specifically, we're going to be using Grafana, Loki, Promptail, and Docker Compose. So everything will be dockerized. But what this project will allow us to do is we can see all here all the timestamps of any kind of authentication activity going on in our server, being anyone trying to connect to it. We can see down here all the IP addresses. So this right here seems to be some kind of brute force attack targeted at my server. You can see the IP address, all the users, usernames that are trying to connect. So we'll be able to see all this information in a nice dashboard like this. But before we get into the coding, let me talk about how we can monitor a Linux server's authentication activity. So to monitor server authentication activity, we can monitor this log, this log file right here, dash var, dash log, dash auth.log. And this file here records authentication related events, such as login attempts on Linux systems. So this includes logins, privilege escalations, failed SSH attempts, all kind of stuff like that. So what we want to do is set up a real time monitoring for this log file and then display all its contents here. So I briefly mentioned the stack, but let me go over it one more time. So this will consist of Loki, Promptail, and Grafana, and all of these instances will be deployed using Docker Compose. Specifically, we will have Promptail scrape this log right here, and then it will send these logs to Loki, and then Loki will receive and store these logs, and then we can visualize them in this Grafana dashboard right here. All right, so let's get coding now. So to start, I'm just gonna open up an empty directory, and we're gonna start completely from scratch. And before I get into this, if you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Also check out my courses and my software linked in the description. So to start, what I wanna do is create some environment variables. And this is gonna be in a .env file. And let me just paste these in. And all these variables are going to be is just the location of our Docker containers in the Docker network. So we have our Promptail container, low key. We're also set a name for our project and we have our Grafana container. However, these variables right here are actually reserved by the Grafana image. So the one starting with GF. And what we are using them for right here is to allow us to disable that login page. So you can just spin this up without having to log in to Grafana. Of course, out in production, you don't wanna have this stuff set because you want it to be protected. That's all I wanna do here. So let's save this. And now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder called monitoring, which is where I'm gonna put all our monitoring stuff. And the first thing I'm gonna do is configure Loki. And we're gonna do this in a file called local config yaml and so once again i'm just going to copy and paste this in here maybe i can zoom out one more so i'm just going to copy and paste the stuff in here and just give you a brief overview of what we're doing so basically what this configuration file does is it sets up loki to store log data on the local file system which we can see by right here under common storage we set that to file system we also disable authentication which allows open access and we configure the location of our loki server right here the authentication won't matter too much because we're not going to expose our low-key Docker container outside of the network. So it's only going to be accessible from within the Docker network. The only thing we're going to expose is Grafana. Next, we are setting it so that we save our log data in this dash Loki file. And our file storage uses an in-memory key value store for temporary storage. This down here just basically defines how, how the logs are indexed and stored. We're going to be rotating our index file every 24 hours. But essentially this setup here is designed for local single instance usage with basic storage and limited clustering or high availability features. Now that we've got Loki configured, let's work on Promptail. And so to configure Promptail, I'm just gonna create a file called promptail.yaml. And so what this configuration file right here is doing is just setting up a log collection service to monitor and read authentication logs from the var log auth.log file on our local machine. So we can see that by here, we're creating a job called auth, and we're setting the path, which is where Promptail will scrape, to be var log and auth.log. Here is where we are gonna push the logs to Loki. So this right here, our client, is our Loki container. And then we set where our Promptail server will be listening in the network. If you're curious what this line right here is, basically Promptail saves its read positions in a temporary file, which is tempPositions.yaml, And this is so that it resumes where it left off after it restarts. And once again, we're pushing logs to Loki because Loki stores the logs. And now we've got Promptail and Loki set up. Let's start working with our Grafana provisioning. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a data sources.yaml file like this. And then let me paste in our data source, which is going to be our Loki container. So this will allow us to create a Loki data source without having to go into the Grafana website and manually adding it. 
But now we've got these set up, let's just create our docker compose.yaml file that will spin up all these services. And once again, I'll go over what each service does, but let me paste in all the stuff here. And so our first service is Loki, which is gonna be our log storage and retrieval. We place in our own custom configuration file right here using volumes. We also use the expose key as opposed to ports because we only wanna expose the port from within the Docker network, not outside of it. Then for prompt tail, we map over our volumes here. First one is our configuration file, so we can add our own custom configuration. And this line right here is very important as this is what adds the auth.log file into the container so Promptail can scrape it. So this will come from our host machine or our Linux server, and this will place it inside Promptail, which will then scrape it and push these logs up to Loki right here. And then finally, we have Grafana at the bottom where we copy over our data sources file, so another configuration one, into this location, Grafana provisioning data sources and data sources.yaml. And of course, these locations are important as this is what the image, the Docker image will use for its provisioning. Same with these here. This is the configuration file that Promptail will use. We can see that we actually explicitly set it right here, but this is also the default value. I just kind of specify it because why not? And then same with Loki over here. But that's all it takes to get this set up. So the next thing we need to do is just make sure you're at the top level of the project and just run Docker compose up. And we have the pull policy set to always for each of these which means that we're gonna be pulling them from wherever they are, which I believe is Docker Hub, but it could be Google or wherever the image is hosted. And now let's just see if we have any errors in this log over here. So I don't see any errors down here, or actually we have one in Promptail saying file is a directory, so we're getting an error. And so let me double check the mapping right here. And of course the reason this isn't working is the error message was saying that it's failed to tail the file because it's a directory. And the reason for this is because I'm running this on my Mac machine, which does not have an auth.log file. So if I list out the contents here, we don't have an auth.log file. So this wouldn't work unless I was spinning it up on a Linux machine, or at least we had a file here for it to map over. But what I did is I just spun this up on my blog website. And so what I, you have to do is just go to whatever your host is, could be localhost, and then port 3000, and that will take you to Grafana. And then we can navigate in here. And if you look at our data sources, these other ones are from some other configuration files I have. But the one we care about is Loki right here. And this was created from our Grafana configuration file. And if we scroll down to the bottom and we test the connection, we can see we're successfully connected. And now what you wanna do is go back to our data sources. And for Loki, you click on the right over here on explore. And what we wanna have is our label. We had a job that we called we had a job that we called off. So, and then I'm just gonna set it to past seven days for me. And after it's ran, we can see our stuff right here. So if I wanna zoom in on this section here, these are all the logs from within that time period. And all of it is related to authentication information. But that's all I wanted to show you how to set up in this video. It's not too bad, it's not too hard to mon monitor authentication. The main point is you just wanna map over your auth.log file into the Promptail image, which will then scrape it push these logs up to Loki, and then in Grafana, we can observe them. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. If you like content like this, once again, check out my courses, linked in the description. Also my Chrome extensions or my software. Besides that, take it easy.